God has been good. He has been a gift to the church. And that is our mother. Mama, please, can you take this seat? Let's honor you. Whether you accept it or not, she is the first lady in the house. So I just need you to honor her in this house. That is our first lady. Can you welcome her? Can you welcome her? This is our first lady in the house. She is your mother. She is my mother. We drink. Can you honor her? Yes, I don't need you to drink to honor her. Sweet love, I don't forget you. And your kiss. to know is you can't have what you can't celebrate. Kings give birth to kings and queen mothers give birth to queen mothers. Mama, we honor you. You have queen and kings as your children. It's your day. Actually, the birthday was on Tuesday. But we move it to Sunday since it was a busy schedule for all of us. So we have just simple cake here. But before we will cut it, I think there are some vibrant daughters in the house that they want to portray to the church her potentials, her essentials. I believe if you are worshiping with us in here, maybe you have not been able to have an encounter with her. But since we have the opportunity, let us show you what she's made of. So that should in case you come across certain or you are in need or in lack of search, you can call on her because she's our first lady in the house. So if you are looking for anybody to talk to in the church of with dream, thoughts of her should first come onto your mind. Amen. So I will call on number one daughter. Number one. I believe you know yourself. Because of time, be quick with us. Number one, which is me. Mama, I am here. Number two. Number two. So I stand as a mother. Number two is patience. That is part of her. You can also see this in her. Number three, a woman of virtues. She is coming. That is how our mother is. Number three, love and a respectful woman. That is who she is. Can she also come for us? Number four, number four. Number four, you know yourself, so please be quick. Number four, loving and kind. That is the way she is. She's a homekeeper, a homekeeper, a woman that keeps the home. That is who she is. In fact, I, I am missing somewhere. She's also fruitful. 
which is fruitful. That is why, you know, all these things I'm saying, I'm speaking it out based on with evidence. When you look into her, her life, you can boast of these things. She is a woman of fruitfulness. Amen. So we are on number five. Okay, number five, a reliable person. I believe the husband can boast of that. And some of us who have cried on her shoulder, you can boast of that, that you can rely on her. And then we also searched in her, and then we found that she is also a leader. She is a leader. God did not call the perfect one, but she called, he called that he may perfect the calling. And God has been perfecting all that she has been doing in our midst. Amen. And then we have here confidential. Okay, number six. Confidential. 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 Okay, so number seven. I have here a preacher. So have you have you seen her preaching? That is her, a preacher, a preacher. She can preach to you. And when we search through her, we also find that she is the carrier of God's presence. Can you can you bear witness with me? That she is the carrier of God's presence. When you are around her, it is impossible for you not to, to have God's presence. Okay. So number eight, a worshiper of God. A worshiper, not because she's pastor's wife, but she's a worshiper. She was self a believer, a child of God, busy worshiping and serving in the century. It's true that that she found her husband. Amen. Number nine, she fears God. She fears God. She fears God. A woman who fears God. A woman who fears God. So it's not anything that you can go before her. That is her coming. A woman who fears God. And then the last one, she's a wife. She's a wife. She's a friend. She's a listener. She's a helper. She's a helper. Number 11. Wow. I thought your children, uh, I thought your daughters, they are 10, but it's like there is more. Number 11. A prayerful woman. A prayerful woman. A woman that can pray. A woman that can stand in for the church. Number 12. She is content. She is content where she is. She is content with you and me. She is content with her ministry. She is content. Number 12. Is that it? She has been tested and approved. Can you clap your hands? Tested and approved. We make her cry. Thank God. Tested and approved. So, Mama, today we, we decided that we will cut your cake in a grand style. And in a trinity style. So, as they will, whether we will do it with birthday song or you help me or I should carry on. I should carry on. Okay. They said I should carry on. In a
These are your daughters in the Lord. God just closed his eyes and touch you. <laughs> so whether we are good or not, this, <laughs> this is the package for you. So we are cutting this cake in a Trinity star. You know, we are in new dimension. So we do new things. Papa was not able to surprise you. But thank God the daughters in the house have been able to surprise her. Can you clap your hands for yourself? Hallelujah! <laughs> we made her cry. We made her cry. All right. <laughs> so in the Trinity Star, it goes like that. Papa, you will hold our mother's hand for us. So daughters be in position. Okay, I think the church wants to watch us, so. Yeah. The son. The father. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so can we have birthday song now?
Yeah. <laughs>